Let's learn about fruits, vegetables, and other fun foods. First, we'll learn about fruits. These are apples. They can be many different colors. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Apples have vitamins that are good for your body. Apples grow on trees in apple orchards. When the apples become ripe, you can pick them. And then you get to eat them. These are called peaches. Peaches have a seed in their center called a pit. Don't eat that part. Peaches are fuzzy. These red fruits are called cherries. They have a stem on top, which makes them easy to hold when you eat them. You can use lots of cherries and make a cherry pie. Mmm, that looks delicious. Bananas are a fun fruit to eat. But if they are green, they are not ripe yet. Bananas grow in bunches like this. Bananas taste good, but remember to peel it first. They both love to eat bananas. These are apricots. They are kind of like peaches, only smaller. Watch out for the pit. That's a pineapple. Pineapples are very sweet and juicy on the inside. <laughs> but the outside is a little bit rough. This is a raspberry. Some raspberries are red and some are black. But they all taste good. These are oranges. Oranges are the color, well, that's right, they're orange. Oranges are a sweet tasting citrus fruit, but you have to peel the skin off to eat it.
Oranges have a lot of vitamin C. They sure do, and vitamin C is good for you. Mmm, that's refreshing. This is a grapefruit. Grapefruits are citrus fruits just like oranges. But grapefruit tastes tart, not sweet. These are pears. They can be different sizes and colors. A pear is kind of like an apple, but a pear is usually softer on the inside. These are called plums. Look at the different colors they can be. Plums are sweet and very juicy. These are coconuts. They sure look ugly on the outside, but they are a nice bright white on the inside. You can sprinkle coconut on your dessert. Speaking of desserts, let's make a fruit shortcake. Strawberries, grapes, blueberries, bananas, coconut, cherries, pound cake, and sugar. Hey, let's make a dessert. Okay, here's some strawberries. Pour the strawberries into a large bowl. Then add blueberries, bananas, and don't forget to put the grapes in the bowl. Then sprinkle a large spoonful of sugar all over the fruit and stir it all together. That's right. Now put the fruit on top of your pound cake. A little bit more. Now make one for your friend. You should top it off with some coconut. A little for you and a little for your friend. Hey, there's some strawberries left over. Let's make a strawberry shortcake. Okay. Hey, that's a great idea. Pour the strawberries over the pound cake. Add whipped cream. And don't forget to put a cherry on top. These fruits are called lemons. But it doesn't seem to bother these boys. These are limes. They look like lemons, but they're green. These are called key limes. They're smaller than regular limes, and they can be used to make key lime pie. Watermelon is a large fruit. It has a pink, juicy center. But watch out for the seeds. A cantaloupe is another kind of melon. It has a sweet, orange-colored center. There are other kinds of melons also. Kiwi fruit is small and fuzzy. Wow, the inside of the kiwi is bright green.
Strawberries. Can you see the tiny little seeds all over the strawberries? Oh, she really likes strawberries. And so does he. Grapes. These are called red grapes. And these are called white grapes. He loves grapes. Raisins are actually grapes that have been dry in the sun. That's right. When this grape dries in the sun, it becomes a raisin. Oh boy, these raisins are doing the wave. Now let's look at some fruits you may not have seen before. These are avocados. Look at that big seed in the inside. This is a strange fruit. It looks like a green apple, but it's called a chayote. This is a papaya. That's what the inside of a papaya looks like. That's an odd-looking fruit. It's called a cherimoya. These are bitter melons. It's a mango. Ooh, that looks juicy. These are called star fruits. Can you find the star? What are some of your favorite fun foods? Jello. You can wiggle it. This jello is shaped like a star. It's a jello ring. has a jello smile. I see you. Hey, Mr. Corn. It's a dancing corn cop. Popcorn. They're having a popcorn party. Oh, there's a cute little pea pod. Raisins are fun to eat because they're tiny and you can pop them in your mouth. Hey, silly. You can share raisins with a friend. Animal crackers. What animal is that? It's a hippopotamus. Is corn on the cob fun to eat? She's eating a circle around the corn cob. Hey, Miss Grape. The grapes are dancing. Chocolate chip cookies. She's eating blueberry yogurt. Is that yogurt fun to eat? This is a cheese and pepperoni pizza. You can put fruits and vegetables on it to make it even better. Like tomatoes, green peppers, 
and even pineapple. It's a cheese and cracker party. It's square cheese on a round cracker. Wow, those sure went fast. Hey, Miss Apple. It's an apple eating an apple. Hey, Miss Orange. It's a happy apple and a happy orange. This is a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Peanut butter is made from peanuts and jelly is made from fruit. Mmm, good sandwich. You can eat blueberry waffles for breakfast. Whoa! She caught it. Hey, french fries. Did you know french fries are made from potatoes? Aw, it's a cute baby carrot. Let's eat pickles. Now, let's learn about vegetables. These are ears of corn. Can you see the little corn kernels? This is a cornfield where corn grows. It grows on tall corn stalks. Peekaboo! Is this what popcorn comes from? It sure is. Some corn is grown especially for making popcorn. These are carrots. They grow under the ground. The carrots are good for your eyes. Yes, carrots are good for your eyes. Rabbits eat them. And so should you. These tall green stems have a funny name. They're called asparagus. Squash. This is yellow squash. This is zucchini squash. There are lots of different kinds of squash. It's a happy squash face. Cucumbers. They are usually eaten in salads. Cucumbers come from cucumbers. That's right, a pickle is a cucumber that's been pickled. Try a bite, you'll like it. Cauliflower grows in a big bunch, but you can tear off little pieces like this to eat. He's eating cauliflower like an ice cream cone. Broccoli also grows in big bunches. This is called an eggplant. Eggplants grow in different shapes and sizes. They're purple. Here's a small mushroom. And here's a big mushroom. This purple vegetable is a beet. Beets are good for you. You can eat them chopped or sliced. This vegetable looks sort of like a beet, but it's a radish.
These are onions. Look at the different shapes and colors. Dancing onions. Peeling an onion can sometimes make you cry. We're going to learn how to make something with vegetables. Let's make a garden salad. First, tear some lettuce into a large bowl. Then, throw in some chopped carrots. Don't eat all of the carrots. I'm just eating one. Whoops, save room for dinner. Now, add some tomatoes. Put in some broccoli. And don't forget to put in the cucumbers. Hey, can I have one? Sure. Now it's time to toss the salad. There you have it. Now you know how to make a garden salad. These little green balls are called Brussels sprouts. They're playing follow the leader. Here are a few leafy green vegetables. This is a head of lettuce. These are spinach leaves. And this is a head of cabbage. Here's a strange looking vegetable. It's called a daikon. It looks like a giant white carrot. This is an artichoke. This vegetable has a funny name. It's called okra. These are different types of roots found under the ground. Some roots you can eat, and some roots, like this ginger root, are used to make spices. Beans come in all shapes. Some are long, like a string bean. And some are small and round, like a butter bean. Beans also have different colors. She's eating a green bean. These are green peas. They grow in these long pea pods. These are snow peas. There are many other types of peas, like black-eyed peas. Mmm, yummy. Potato. Potatoes are different colors. Potatoes grow under the ground. It's a potato face. These are called sweet potatoes because they taste sweet. You can make sweet potato pie out of them. Celery is a crunchy vegetable. Have you ever tried celery with peanut butter on it? Mmm, that sounds yummy. These are pumpkins. He's planting pumpkin seeds so that one day he can have a pumpkin patch. Wow. That's a lot of pumpkins. There's a pumpkin just his size. This is a green pepper, but peppers grow in all different colors. Some peppers are sweet, and some are hot. Be careful, some peppers are hot and spicy.
Tomatoes can be little or big. Tomatoes grow on a plant like this, and when they are ripe, you can pick them. He sure does love tomatoes. Well, now that you've learned about fruits and vegetables, it's time to learn about table manners. First, you should remember to always wash your hands with soap and water before eating. That's it. Clean your hands. Putting your elbows on the table while you eat is bad manners. This is how you should eat. When you eat spaghetti, don't play with the noodles. It's bad manners, and you'll make a mess. Get a small amount of noodles on your fork and twirl it. This will keep you from making a big mess. When eating soup, never slurp it from the bowl. That's bad manners. He's eating soup the right way, with a spoon. Never chew food with your mouth open. It's too noisy. The right way to chew is with your mouth closed. That's nice and quiet. Good manners. Can you tell who has the good manners? Hey, you want to go play after lunch? Sure, let's go. She has bad manners because she is talking with her mouth full of food. He has good manners because he didn't speak until he finished chewing. Never blow bubbles in your drink because you'll make a big mess. That's bad manners. Drink it like this so you won't make a mess. That's good manners. Never reach across the table. Hey, I could have passed those to you. This is what you should do. Please pass the potato chips. Asking politely is good manners. Thank you. You're welcome. Most foods should not be eaten with your hands, especially green peas. You'll make a mess. You should use a fork or spoon to eat with. That's good manners. If you're eating a sandwich and your hands get messy, never lick your fingers or wipe them on your shirt. Bad manners. You should really use your napkin. That's right, use your napkin to wipe your hands. After you finished eating, what do you do when you want to leave the dinner table? No, sit back down. You should ask your parents politely if you can be excused from the table. May I please be excused? Yes, you may. Good manners. Now let's see if you can remember some of the fruits, vegetables, and fun foods that you learned about earlier. What are these fruits called? That's right. Apples. Do you know what this vegetable is called? Yes, it's broccoli. What sour fruit is this little boy eating? Oh, it's a lemon. This is a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Do you know what peanut butter is made from? Of course, from peanuts. What are these called? They're mushrooms. There they go. I'm sure you know what this sweet fruit is called. It's a strawberry. He likes to eat strawberries. You've probably seen this vegetable on your dinner plate. What are they called? They're peas. Do you know what pickles are made from? 
That's right, pickles are made from cucumbers. They're enjoying a cool summer snack. Do you know what fruit that is? It's a watermelon. This vegetable is good for your eyes. What is it called? It's a carrot. They have vitamin A that helps your eyes. This is a salad. Can you name all the vegetables in this salad? There's lettuce, tomatoes, cucumbers, carrots, and broccoli. This fruit is fun to eat, but you have to peel it first. What is it? It's a banana. Do you know where popcorn comes from? That's right, it comes from corn. What are these red, juicy vegetables called? They're tomatoes. What are these called? Yes, they're coconuts. This kind of vegetable can be sweet or hot. What is it? It's a pepper. Do you know what fruit raisins are made from? Raisins are grapes that have been dried in the sun. Don't forget to eat your fruits and vegetables.